Hey guys, I'm Vinay. Welcome back to our channel Wild Taste Buds. I hope you all are doing good. So I've got something in my hand. Now this is a collapsible rocket stove. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this today. I'm gonna assemble it. I'm gonna show you how to uh, uh, assemble it. And by the way, if you wanna make one of this for yourself, I've put a video here, right here. You can check it and you can learn how to make it and if you want one you can let me know in the comments down below i'll get one for you perfect now today we're going to cook noodles guys and it's going to be maggi noodles but it's going to be in a unique way i'm going to show you how so let's start so just check this out guys amazing stove The best part is that you can carry it anywhere. A little difficult to put, but yeah. Alright, there goes one plate. There goes another one. This is the bottom plate. And this is the front plate. So this is the stove guys. Now if you've got a smaller vessel, you can use these as a stand. Right? Perfect. So first let's boil our Maggi. Now if you can see the stove, how perfectly this is burning. All the fire is being concentrated at one place. It's a brilliant stove what I made. So the name of our dish today is butter garlic noodles yeah butter garlic noodles so I'm going to show you how to do that the ingredients what we need is few green chilies onions capsicum and whole cabbage so our water is boiling before even we add the maggi let's add some oil in it so that the maggi doesn't stick together a little bit of salt perfect that should be enough and now is the time for Maggi now Maggi this is a very uh, a unique story behind how Maggi was invented okay Maggi was first found in Switzerland right now this was after the name Julius Maggi his main idea was to prepare a ready-to-go food for employees uh, who used to work back then. So that's how the concept started and then slowly, slowly, slowly he started developing new taste for it and then along with the that uh, uh, easy going food he also added this masala okay. And that's when the Maggi actually came to India after this masala. So in India it's been bought by Nestle by in 1947 and since then it's it's running like a huge brand the name maggi itself is remembered by every kid every adult and every old person in india guys so that's the story behind maggi also make sure that the noodles is cooked only 60 percent or 80 percent not more than that because you're again going to fry it for a butter garlic uh, uh, type of uh, noodles so make it make sure that it cooks only 60 percent So the Maggi is 60% cooked, let's remove this, yeah, I've got a strainer here, so I'm just going to strain this, that's it. Perfect. Now let's add one cube of butter, I've got the butter here, we're going to fry the garlic in this butter, whoa I can smell the butter man it smells so good, perfect. 
perfect once the butter is hot let's try our garlic remember don't use the full garlic you're going to need it later as well so i'm going to add nice handful of garlic here perfect fry it until it slides slightly grown in brown you know until it gets a crispy texture because this is what we going to use to garnish our noodles so if you can see the garlic is becoming golden brown you need that texture perfect now once our garlic is brown you got to remove the garlic now perfect now let's put this aside now in the same butter i am going to add some oil that should be enough let the and when the oil becomes hot you're going to add all the veggies along with the leftover garlic so our oil is uh, perfectly hot now let's add the garlic in it along with it let's add the green chili perfect along with it let's add the cabbage and let's add the capsicum and the onion perfect now stir this and cook this for a while now let's add one spoon of vinegar do not add much vinegar because it's going to make it sour let's add some soy sauce you can add two spoons of soy sauce but remember soy sauce already has salt in it so be very careful with the salt perfect let's mix this perfect you're all done and just add the noodles here and mix this thoroughly guys cook this until the color starts to change let's add the red chili perfect and a little bit of salt and now it's time to add the fried garlic so leave some for the garnish yeah now let's mix this again wow now is the smell guys the butter garlic noodles is so perfect now it smells like butter garlic noodles yeah your noodles yet Now before even tasting it have you gotten your noodles yet no go get to the supermarket right now and try this recipe guys and if you like it do leave the comments down below and consider subscribing to my channel hit that like button leave your comments and share with your friends guys i'm going to come up with more such recipes let's taste this and see It's perfect guys it's so lovely so lovely thank you for staying tuned with me cheers